How do you improve sales by telling stories? So a few years ago, there was a uh, a cosmetic company. Uh, they were they wanted to come into Vietnam. They want to uh, sell their products in Vietnam. Uh, they were looking for a distributor, and that is how they found me. Uh, we didn't help them very much. We we did a little bit of work with them. I learned from them is that they have a very interesting story. So the story goes like this: the founder of this cosmetic company is a biomolecular scientist. So she is uh, a researcher. She studies science, right? Her parent got sick. Her parent. I can't remember whether it's the mother or the father, but one of them got sick with cancer. She looked high and low, did a lot of research, looked at a lot of the research studies, and found this particular substance. I can't remember the name of the substance. Uh, the name's like this long. She applied that substance to her parent, and her parent fully recovered from cancer. Story goes like that. And then she realized how much this substance can help people. Uh, you know, overcome um, things that cause cancer, right? You know, I, I'm not going to pretend to be a scientist. I don't know all those terms, but something to do with oxidation and this thing is supposed to help you, uh, you know, keep your molecular structure or whatever, right? And then, and then, so so she wanted to help more people. So she built this cosmetic brand, and then she built, she made this product. And this product is supposed to help people reverse aging and 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 help people do a lot of things to keep them healthy. That was the story that they told me. And when we told the story to Vietnamese buyers, people bought it up, right? I can't, don't know if the story is real. I assume it is. Uh, but people, when people heard the story, they're like, "Yeah, I'm gonna buy. It. I'm gonna try." Stories do sell. So when you put a product, uh, when you put a story. To a product, that product becomes unique, special, so people are willing to pay more for it. So there was a study. There was a study, I think in in the USA. I can't remember exactly, but you can look this up. the The study is called Significant Object.、Uh, you can Google this, and and、uh, and you'll you'll see this that there's a another bunch of researchers. They They wanted to prove. They want to see if stories really can help people to sell. So they went to eBay and bought like a hundred、uh, cheap products, like something like this, maybe something like that. A、uh, hundred products, very cheap, all about a dollar each.、Uh, if you guys don't know what eBay is, it's it's like an auction site. It's like Cho Tot in Vietnam. Well, not not exactly the same, but you know. Anyways, it's like a a place you can buy cheap things. So they buy like a hundred cheap things, pens, uh, and uh, nail clippers, or whatever, a hundred things. Hired a hundred like hired content writers to write stories for each one. So for example,、um, you know, maybe maybe this is a maybe this is like a, one of those those things, right? So. That they would write a story about it. It's, it's a very special scissor, right? It's a very special scissor. This was the scissor that was used in the opening ceremony of twenty、uh, twelve Olympics. You know, they used this scissor to cut the ribbon. You know, so they, they for each of those one dollar items, they would put a story to it, and some of them are probably fake, right? And、uh, and then they reposted those products back to. eBay, think Choto. They they buy a hundred products and then they post it back. But this time, in the product description, they would put a story, right? They would put a story to the product. And guess what happened? Guess what happened?、Uh, they sold out all hundred products and they made like I can't remember the number, but it was something ridiculous. It was like thirty-seven thousand times the 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 money. That they spend a hundred dollars, hundred products, one dollar each. They spend a hundred dollars. They got like thirty-seven thousand dollars back. So, so that is the power of stories. So, when you associate stories to product and services, they become more valuable. People are more attached to it. People are more willing. The people more understand it more. Right? People understand stories much better than 
specifications numbers. This has got a uh, you know like a a, a a quad core processor whatever. Nobody understands what that is, right? But when you tell them a story, people understand, and they associate value to stories. So how can you use that in your business? How can you use that? when you deal with clients, when you deal with customers, when you deal with prospects. It's a very powerful tool, but don't just listen to me. Use this to your advantage. Don't be a fucktard. Take fucking action.